My attention was caught recently by a story behind a hymn that you may know, a story that seems particularly relevant for the times we are in right now, about a hymn that may offer some solace and hope, for it was written during an epidemic in New York City in the 19th century. That hymn, Shall We Gather at the River? Hi, my name is Linda Ginrich, and I'm the conductor of Master Chorus East Side, and this is the ninth in our Songs for the Soul series, choral music for these trying times. In the mid-1860s, Robert Lowry was the pastor of Hanson Place Baptist Church in Brooklyn. He was a self-taught musician as well as a pastor, and in fact, he composed many popular hymns, some of which are still sung today. In fact, I talked about one of his hymns in an earlier Songs for the Soul discussion, How Can I Keep From Singing? Well, in the summer of 1864, an epidemic was raging in the city, probably cholera, maybe yellow fever, Lowry doesn't say in his reminiscences. On one very hot day, he was lying in his parlor, exhausted from the, from the heat and overborne by the thought of so many around him sick and dying, including many of his friends. And as he lay there, questions began rising in his mind. Shall we meet again? We are parting at the river of death. Will we meet at the river of life? In order to give vent to his pent up emotions, he went to his organ and began to play and to sing. And suddenly words and music began flowing together, both at once. Shall we gather at the river where bright angels feet have trod with its crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God? And by the time the afternoon was over, his hymn was complete. Shall We Gather at the River became a much-loved hymn, and it has, has appeared in many hymnals since, although Lowry himself seems to have been rather ambivalent about it. He later confessed that he really didn't think much of it, although he also said he was deeply moved on several occasions when he heard it sung. It's also been made into arrangements, many arrangements for soloists and for choirs. Many of you may have sung it in one form or another. Among the best known of the arrangements is from Aaron Copland's Old American Songs, set to, written in 1952. He wrote it for soloists and orchestra, but it was later arranged in, for choir. His setting moves like a rising tide, ebbing and flowing in succeeding waves as it sweeps on shore, each section more intense than the previous one, until he finally arrives at full-throated assurance, yes, we'll gather at the river that flows by the throne of God. And fittingly, it was sung at Aaron Copland's memorial service. Here's a link to a YouTube performance of Copeland's Shall We Gather at the River. You'll find the same link in the description box below, as well as the text. And may it lift your spirits like the tide. The music has not stopped. We will sing again. Till next time.